Now, there's every chance that this is going to be the shortest walkthrough we've ever done. And that's because this instrument does one job in a simple and concise way. But before we delve into it, let's have a bit of a history lesson. The modern string machine or string ensemble was invented by a UK musician, Ken Freeman, who was trying to recreate the sound of strings that he'd heard on records and radio. Now, there's a detailed interview with Ken in the Bright Sparks documentary. And while I'm biased because I produced it, it's well worth watching if you're interested in the men behind some of the landmark and lovely machines. But here's a pricey anyway. Ken was a musician working in a top 40 covers band and initially used a clavier line through a tape echo and played arpeggios to build up the sound of a chord. Now obviously this demanded dexterity and concentration so Ken thought of ways to make his life easier and hit upon this idea of using a couple of modulated detuned waveforms to create a chorus effect. Now Ken worked his way through different prototypes gaining session work off the back of each due to their distinct and unique tones. Until a refined, or in Ken's eyes, a cut-down version was released commercially by the Cordovox company under the name Freeman String Symphonizer. Inside it's essentially a two VCO divide down oscillator machine and the front panel echoes this simplicity by way of two basic tones low and high, and then a modicum of easy to use controls to get some expression out of the machine. So let's start with the low tone in isolation. Well, that's not going to exactly set the world on fire, is it? And neither is the high tone, which is essentially the low tone transposed an octave up and actually missing the top octave. But when you engage the ensemble button, things take on a different perspective. Here's the low tone with ensemble. The high tone with ensemble. And both tones with ensemble. And for more expression, we can add some sustain via this slider. Here's none. And here's full. Then some reverb via an onboard spring reverb. Here's full. And here's none. Oh, and here's me whacking the instrument to prove there's a spring inside. And finally in this section we have the animation slider, which adds some pitch modulation.
If you want a gradual pitch modulation fade in, then all you need to do is press the touch vibrato button. And hey presto, there's a ramp in. Other controls are mainly level and tonal related, starting with the keyboard balance between top and bottom, bass and treble sliders And finally, a master volume. Now the back does have an input for an expression pedal, but it's certainly not standard, so as yet I've not had the chance to use it. So what are its faults? Well, an attack time would have been nice. So would proper polyphony as opposed to paraphonic polyphony. But to be honest, that was the only way these instruments could be made to a budget back then. Granted, it's big and reasonably heavy, but again, back in the day, that's the way things were. So, let's not split hairs, because what really matters is the sound. And once that entire string ensemble genre became ubiquitous, this was a great alternative to the starker sounding string ensembles, such as the Elka Rhapsody and Krumar Multiman. And the Mantovani machines, as Billy Curry called them i.e. the Selena or the Logan string melody. And that's it really, other than to thank Ken for inventing an entire genre of instruments that spawned over a hundred different models at one point. And as for Ken, like I said earlier, his story is told in the first person in Bright Sparks, complete with skullduggery that will make your jaw drop. I'll leave that hanging though and just say that Ken continued to make music Contributing to War of the Worlds, a huge array of hits by people like David Essex. Yep, that riff on Gonna Make You a Star is by Ken. As well as writing music for TV shows, including Holby City and Casualty. Oh, and if you don't want the expense and maintenance involved in owning a real Freeman string synthesizer, all the sounds are available on VSM and Restrings. Your track that you played me has one late note on it. Stuck out like a sore thumb. Perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> it's up here somewhere, and you, you, instead of being that, it's this late. It's, 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 it's,